What is up, Houdat Nation? My name is Andrew, and this is a draft special edition of the Houdat discussion as the Saints traded up to number 48 in the second round to pick, to me, a really, really good pick, and that's going to be Eric McCoy, center out of Texas A&M. I love this pick by the Saints. Look, guys, I said the Saints were either going to go wide receiver, guard, interior alignment, which they go, or they're going to go edge rusher. The Saints, they don't wait, and they go get their guy, and that was going to be Eric McCoy, who fell a lot. A lot of people expect him to be uh, picked by now. People are expecting him to go either late first round, early second, and he falls to the mid-second. And looking at his prospect grade, really good grades overall from either the combine or just NFL scouts in general. I didn't talk about him much because I didn't think he'd go to the Saints. I really didn't think that was a possibility, so I didn't talk to him, talk about him. But honestly, really good pick for the Saints when looking at it. He could become an instant NFL starter right now at the center position and may move Nick Easton over. This is, I mean, look, the Saints got a good player here. I really like what they got. He's team captain at um, Texas A&M, which is going to give that leadership right away. Him and Drew Brees are going to have great chemistry, I think, especially, you know, snapping the ball and everything. And I I really do think this was just a really um, good move. He was extremely happy when he got picked. That smile on his face was priceless, really good um, you know, job there. I was kind of caught off guard by the Saints moving up, but we don't even know what they gave up yet. I will tell you guys when that comes out. Um, he started since 2016. He started all every game. Um, he was part of the Maroon Goons, which was the team. This is the um, interior offensive lineman for the Texas A&M team in 2018. I mean, look, he's he's a good player. Very solid. Um, you know, he's got really good traits. And there, people thought that he was going to be either um, an early day two value or maybe even early round one value. Uh, not early, excuse me, late round one value. People were projecting him to go. I'd like him. I think he's going to be a really good player. And he's that Max Unger type player. So they play very similar. So this is just, I mean, to me, I, I think the Saints look. Would I have been happy if they would have got DK Metcalf, um, Hakeem Butler? Yeah, I would have been really happy. But they feel like maybe they're going to trade up into the third round and they can get their guy there. And wide receiver, maybe they can get an Andy Isabella who may fall to the third round. Who? How much better is he going to be? If you know, if you can have Hakeem Butler and you know a not so good um, lineman, or you could have um, McCoy here and then an Andy Isabella, I would do that 100. percent Wide receivers are falling big time in this draft, which I think is huge. I really like a lot of them. So for me, I, you know, and there was not a lot of offensive line depth in this draft. So you were going to have to go quick. And I think the Saints, um, you know, do a really good job here by moving up and getting, um, you know, McCoy here. So just to look at his strengths, um, he has, first of all, he started all three seasons, every single game. So that's obviously really big. He did a really good job against really talented interior uh, defensive lineman. You know, he played really good against Quinn and Williams, who got picked third by the Jets. Everyone calls him the best player in the draft period. Dexter Lawrence, that whole um, Clemson uh, defensive line who they went, basically they all went in the first round. He did a really good job against them. He did good against other Alabama players. Um, He, you know, he did really good against really good um, college teams. So that to me has to put a lot of um, weight onto that. Um, he's good as a center. He gets some movement even going upfield. Um, you know, he resets his hands really, really well. So he's a good hand placement, which is obviously huge for um, blocking. And then he has a um, low center of gravity, which is good for rush, rush blocking, rush anchor. The Saints inside, I think, are going to need a little help on as they, you know, did downgrade a little bit with uh, Murray there. Um, he's got good leverage, as I said. Um, and you know, he has some moves to get, um, you know, to get leverage on some great. Um, interior um, defensive players here. I think he could be better than Nick Easton, right, guys? I I think this is really good what the Saints did. They're happy with their wide receiver core, guys. Maybe they weren't lying, and they actually said that they're happy of what they got. Um, So to me, look, when you're looking at McCoy, to me, a lot of good, really great things um, there. Also, just to give some negatives, um, as this is what NFL.com says, um, you know, he stands... Uh, he tends to stay patient rather than lunge forward out of targets. And that's, I mean, look to get, um, you know, big pushes upfield. You know, sometimes he doesn't do that really well. Sometimes he doesn't pull out really well on screens, which 
know, the Saints don't really have their centers pull as much as some other teams because they have really good guards. Um, you know, Andrews Pete's really good at pulling out and stuff like that. So they usually have those players um, pull out. And then also, you know, he gets that second level. Sometimes he tries to do the inside arm wrap against the um, linebackers, which it could be a little bit of a problem. And, um, but overall, I really I think he's a player that the Saints could um, develop and he could be uh, a really good player. Um, they draft him as an instant starter um, for the NFL.com. Um, That's obviously really, really um, good stuff there. Just trying to um, look on to see what the Saints gave up here. And then um, I'm going to, you know, we're going to see, um, you know, what, who they get here. Just look to see a pro football focus grade on him. Um, overall, he was number 11th overall center in college football. He had the most blocking snaps. Uh, no, excuse me, he didn't have the most blocking snaps. He had um, 1,500 blocking snaps, and he only gave him one sack. It's pretty pretty great. Only allowed seven pressures. Um, it's really, really good. His pass block, his pass block grade, excuse me, was second in the nation among centers. Run block, it was 13th. Um, look, he's a really good player. That's just pro football focus, what they're going to grade him. Um, to me, um, I think it was a good, solid pick. Um, they give it a good grade, pro football focus, so we'll see there. But to me, good, solid pick here. We'll see what the Saints do um, later. But um, So this is the official um, trade here. So the Saints are going to give picks 62, 202, and their, and their second, second rounder. Uh, no, in their next year's second round, Charles and 22nd rounder, and they're going to get 48, so they're going to get Eric McCoy, and they're also going to get a fourth round pick, which now the Saints trade back into the fourth round and tomorrow, so they're going to have an early fourth round pick, which I think is good. I would like to see a third round pick, though. Um, I would like to see maybe if the Saints um, could move up, maybe even a little more. I like this pick, though. It gives them a lot of depth, and um, I, I think that it was just a really um, good um, you know, job here. The Saints, uh, this is according to Larry Holder, and he says that the Saints were eyeing many offensive linemen day two. Um, it, it was not a stunner, they said, and the Saints were aggressive to get their um, high. The ESPN crew was heavily touting um, Eric McCoy. Yeah, I thought he was going to get picked too, though. So, um, you know, look, when it, when it comes up to it, I really like him. He's, he's to me, he's going to be that Max Unger type player probably for a long time for the Saints. I like this pick a lot, guys. It's going to be low key. Um, look, we didn't get the DK Metcalf. We didn't get the Keen Butler, but to me, we got a really solid offensive lineman and look after Max Unger left, I was a little worried how they weren't really talking about still getting interior, um, offensive line. Oh, excuse me there. As much as I love, um, like Nick Easton, I do think that the Saints could upgrade on that. And I think, I think this is an upgrade. It will be an upgrade in the future for sure. But people are calling him a plug and plug and play guy, which I think is huge to have a plug and play guy right here. Um, Look, I love the pick. If the Saints make any more trades or um, anything else here, guys, I will be sure to notify you. I will send out these quick um, updates. Probably won't be edited or anything. I just want you guys to hear my thoughts on the pick. I like the pick. I think it was really solid. I think everyone's going to say solid pick. Probably good. And if I want me to grade the pick, it's very hard to grade picks, but I'm going to give it an A-. minus. Um, Look, it's not the star. You know, They didn't get you know a first-round grade. Maybe they did, though. Um, I don't think they got like early first round grade at the 48th pick. To me, that's like a star A plus plus. But I think it's a solid A minus. I think it's where this where he could have went a little before. Um, I think he, he probably could have went late first, either like 29, 30 to 40. I think that's where he's going to go. Saints got him 10 picks early. To me, that's a, a 10 picks late. Excuse me. That's obviously really good. And um, I think overall, good job by the Saints. So check out um our Twitter at the Who That Dis for more updates. Same with Instagram. We're at Who Dad Discussion on there. Um, to watch more of these um, little, you know, clips on who the Saints pick on my first reactions um, here at the Who Dad Discussion, please check out our, you know, Spotify, um, Google Play, iTunes, YouTube, all that fun stuff. It will be right there waiting for you guys. So wherever you're watching or listening to this, um, you know, episode and little segment here, come back when the Saints pick. I will have immediate reactions there. So with all that said, I want to say thank you, prove them right, and who dat?